What up, YouTube? Me and my brother, we about to head to Chicago. Shoot some videos. I'm about to try to shoot some content for y'all. We just gonna get it started just like that. I ain't gonna say no more. <sighs> I'm doing the YouTube thing, man. Anything you wanna say? Don't talk about the switch. He, from re he really from Bright Mall. No. I'm from 8 Mall. I'm no, a no. he, he is from Bright Mall. So he from Bright Mall. Ride or die, Junior. If you ain't know now, you know. Niggas eat Chipotle like early in the morning. Right, and I don't got no got food. Chipotle. I ain't ate nothing. I'm sick. Can't start the morning. I'm I need some breakfast. Ain't no, ain't no Coney right here, bro. Yeah. Line, both of y'all line. I know it's a Coney. Yeah, come on, stop. You gonna stop there? Or are you, or you gonna be take all day? All right, bet. Are you gonna take? That shit crazy, nigga. Swear they, you act like you was waiting on me, and you still got a bat. Yeah, I was waiting on you, nigga. You was supposed to go with me. When I went and picked him up in the room. I ain't know all that though. He never explained all that. Said 9 o'clock this morning, nigga. What time is it? <laughs> look though. Is, look at your phone and show them what time it is. My, I got you. Look. I'm, I'm gonna walk over here and show them. Damn. Oh, I still need to say 12.25. But look, if he was so called <laughs> waiting on me, I'm right? I'm to show him the bottom of the screen. Bay. Bro, Von too. <laughs> <laughs> but look, if you so called waiting on somebody, right? Once you be already ready, cause you've been waiting on them so long. That's my Bro, thing. I done did so much in that amount of time. I started slowing down just to be like, Breathe. all right. So I no, just so I'd be like, all right, bro, get this nigga some time. And you gave me a lot. And you still wasn't ready. I'm gonna go Hurry get on. my uh, food, man. So I'm hungry. It's my bag. Don't let nobody take that. Thank you. Value. All right, stop that camera. I ain't even stop it, y'all. I'm gonna stop. You said it's at the car. I can put my GPS in, man. Put in your GPS. Bro. I am, dog. We not in. We not in 1972. Come on, nigga. <laughs> that mud music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey. Right. I'm with Luke. He got his rollie out the window. I'm fresh out the road. I pull the roll out the window. Two left four. Throw a hoodie in the woods. Little P trip and he slapped the forty in the woods. Back in the club. All right, we at a rest stop. He passed like four rest stops. It's all about a bag. Got to get a bag. Hold on. I didn't want to get caught with two, three billion, two, ten billion in the wall. Like, what kind of like? Who know you? Who know, you know you? What I'm saying it's crazy. <laughs> I enjoy my billions. <laughs> I spent my billions. <laughs> man, we at the rest stop, man. Got to take and use it. T take the bathroom break. Bathroom break. Your cake mix, so you get the lean, stretch it out, make it taste different. If you ain't not her getting paid, you in the weight, nigga. And the bones turn to turkey bags, nigga. Space is yeah. Finally made it to the wreck, man. It took about four hours. Now we here now. So nigga, we on Dre Road still. Cap. Let me out. I love coming here. About two and a half miles. You uh, can't make no turn here. It's like, we're in Chicago looking for the Chicago Rats. Chicago! Chicago! We're in the car right now. Bro, they do not right. call it that. <laughs> You're supposed to say the go. We in the go. You're going to say the car. They be, the they be we like, live in the car. In the car, they be, they be like, I'm about to go to the car. In the car, driving. <laughs> oh, they call this shit go. Yeah, that's what, that's Damn, what, that's what bro be calling it the go. The go. That's what he say, but I be hearing them, bro, on the camera. The go or the rack? They be like, come on, go to the car. They be, hey, they be saying that shit all crazy. Just pulled up to the video shoot. <laughs> bro, we still on Dre Road. <laughs> I don't know why he keeps saying that, man. He must be drunk. Yeah, gotta be, bro. When Gang done recording this video, I'm gonna have him teach y'all some, some Chicago slang, man. So y'all can know what to say when y'all get down here. Uh, 
Yeah, we got we got him peeking. <laughs> but my man already look like a fucking mouse. <laughs> he said he like a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> right, that can be like a fucking rat. <laughs> you might be in the camera. You might be snitching, fool. No. You not prove it. I ain't got no paperwork back. I ain't seen no paperwork back. <laughs> 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 For the streets, they're talking right now. Right now, the streets, they're talking, bro. They just hey, talking. I ain't seen no paperwork yet, bro. You good. I ain't not, bro. No paperwork for it. Motherfuckers can't talk that on your name like that. Hell you, no. You just bro. real. Real sus. <laughs> Shit. I was like, yeah, Not I a was good look. It turned a handshake turned into being the red. Yeah, to being the snitching neighbor on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Set a nigga up on some quick Set shit. Up, some uh, Chicago <laughs> slang when you finish, right? Ah, uh, this is what I got you. Bet. They gonna put y'all niggas hip so y'all know what to say. My brother did all the robbing, he never took me with him. Couldn't find him, they didn't bother him, easy pickings. Yeah, they looking at me funny like they know I'm from Detroit. You walking with a big ass camera. <laughs> they ain't even see my camera. So they ain't see my camera. He he loved it. I ain't even gonna say it because it's going on uh YouTube, but he a lot. Much. <laughs> yeah. Much. Much. <laughs> Real heavy. I ain't gonna speak right now. <laughs> what up man? You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm saying I got my I got my nephew with me today. You know what I'm saying we're about to eat good. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna run a lot out of it. I'd have said over the floor. You're on me or something, man. I ain't got interview yet. I'm just straight on that. Why are you straight on that? Some of that chocolate cake. Some of that chocolate cake. <laughs> Give yeah, me a quick interview, real quick. Real quick. Simple, quick, and simple. What up, man? Uh, we here with Bandman Vine. Is you Bandman Vine? That's me. Yeah, we're here with Bandman Vine, man. So, what made you, you know, start wanting to do TikTok, YouTube? Yeah, just, just really, we're just doing it. Like, just posting, just to see what happened. Right, 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 right. right. And I didn't really care. So, and it but, did what it did. But it, but it, but it took off. Yeah, it did. Now, it now you're the man with it. Just like me, right? I must say, like like Jerry, yeah, like right. Rod or Dot Junior, that's what we call him. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, they don't know who Jerry is. They know who Jerry Production is. That ain't me though. Not him. This is Rod or Dot, one and only. You feel me? Good in racing, good in the videos himself. Let me show y'all. Turn the camera around. Let him pick what he want to eat. But that's him though. Rod or Dot. What you say? What you say? How long? How long you been in the, How long you been in the wreck? Shit, my whole life. In and out the city. Shit, south side. Live out west right now. Okay. Move to the birds. Back to the city. Yeah. What's the What's the most thing that you love about uh, the wreck? Everything you could want. Shit. I feel like we got entertainment. Yeah. Bad bitches. Okay. Fashion. Yeah. Music. Yeah. Restaurants, the best food, anywhere you can go, any kind of food you want, we got everything you can want here, like. All right, look though, if it's something that you could change, what would you change about the rep? I feel like shit, motherfuckers out here is like, hating on each other, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. right now, I'm not, I already got no clout. Right. I'm, I'm getting my clout up. If yeah. I was to get famous right now, blow up tomorrow, somebody gonna come to this bitch and say, fuck Lotto. No cap. Like, MBKK. Got MBK, gonna say all kind of weird ass shit just because. Yeah. Motherfuckers trying to get they caught up off hate. That's what Now I got do. ops I ain't never seen in my life. <laughs> Old ops fucking with my new ops. Whoa. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That's how I be going, man. Oh, go to your car? Oh. Oh, so, so, so what keep you going? We keep you going every day, man. Like, you know, making music or even day to day life type shit. So you can work, whatever. Shit, I've been broke before. And I can't go back to being broke. Yeah. That alone, get me up every day. Shit, do whatever I gotta do. Yeah. That that feeling is the worst feeling right there. I ain't gonna man, lie to come you. Come on, man. Come on, man. Well, Motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie to shit right now. I got a job. Yeah. Shit, all the shit I do, y'all listen to my brothers, my music. I don't cap it, none I say. 
I got a job. I go to Monday through Friday. Yeah. Having a job is not lame. Not at all. Being broke is lame. We agree with that. <laughs> being, no being broke is lame. No cap. <laughs> <laughs> not getting no pay. Waking up every day, not touching no pay. Yeah. Niggas wake up, don't touch no pay, hop on the game. That's lame. Not making no money. If the game ain't paying, you get off the That's game. That's lame. Feel me? Yeah, hey, man. That was some good motivation, though, right there. They gonna love it. But we got back on their ass, they ain't know this. And, and, and your name is what again? Lotto. And they can find you where? MBK, Lotto. Lotto like lottery, man. One in a million. 777. Instagram, Twitter. MBK Lotto. Everything. TikTok. No underscores, no spaces. MBK Lotto. Uh, if he got it, he own her. You feel me? This is how we coming in the wreck, man. I'm with Lotto, man. Come on, man. You he, good. He's showing us around everywhere we going. Good. Every we forget Sportillo, the Italian beef, extra cheese on it. <laughs> That's what they got to get. Come on, man. I'm going to take back. I'm going to get you right. Yeah. Hey, we on the line with it. So, look. All right. All right. So, look. What uh, what phone that mean? Phone them? That's, that's like, bro. Anybody, anybody is phone them. You phone them. He phone them. They phone them. Okay. Every Everybody phone them. Just anybody. So, everybody. vibes would be like, vibes would be like, uh, if, if my man's downstairs and he got the crud or whatever and I need it, I can be like... Fono got the gas downstairs. Fono got the gas downstairs. Okay, okay. Fono downstairs got the wild. What, 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 what's another one? What's a little mama? A little mama. <laughs> you too funny. You funny. <laughs> shit, a little mama shit. A little mama is anybody who is uh just can't hang. Motherfuckers just... Trying to be with the shits, he can't hang. Wanna, you, they want to go home. Yeah. Now you a little mama. But you take a motherfucker over and say, yeah, so let's drink. Two shots in. Oh, oh, my God. Throw it up in the bathroom. You're a little mama. You a little mama. You ain't a big boy. Motherfucker say, man, let's smoke. Second wood. They on the couch sleep. Little mama. You can't hang. Motherfuckers just trying to be in the shits. I think it was another one I had. I think what, it was called. When y'all well, be hitting it. I ain't gonna lie. I, I think the trade people do that too, though. What? The fake shit. The fake shit. What you mean? I hear niggas say some shit like, like she fake cute type shit. Like, y'all put fake but in front of some shit for no reason. Yeah, I mean, nah, it's a reason for that shit because the, because the, because the would be ugly off the initial look. Like, you look at a bitch the first time, like, damn, bitch, you kind of ugly. But when you look at her, though, like, you kind of decent. Like, you okay. fake decent. <laughs> like, what's another? What's another slang y'all say though? Shit, I mean y'all already y'all didn't already know what the thought is, shit, but we call these hoes bops. Bops, yeah, yeah, y'all. Wait, did you say bops? Bop. 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 Yeah. Shit, a little bop. Bop. Give you some awesome jostle. I was doing some little research too, and that dude was saying like if a dude was acting all like uh, light skin, want to take his pictures all cute or something. Like he always want to keep trying to be cute and shit. It was called, uh, I think he said a, a them, a, a damn, I can't remember. A therm. Like, therm, that's what it was. Uh, a therm. Y'all be using that? Yeah, yeah. Therm is just like a lame ass nigga. Like a, you feel me? Like a derb, a peon. Yeah. What about Dunky? Oh, I know. I ain't never heard nobody say that. <laughs> you made that shit up. Yeah, you made therm, that shit up. Therm, man. Don't be no therm, therm over there making therm. stuff up, yeah. guy. Yeah. <laughs> he be a therm over here. Therm ass nigga, man. Lame <laughs> ass nigga, man. Oh, what's another one? What's another one? This stuff? What? What they say? So they want, they want a motherfucker line, motherfucker front they move, she said motherfucker pump faking. Oh yeah, we say pump faking too. So yeah, that's, that's something I like that. So Detroit and, uh, and Chicago, that's that's one thing that we got in common that we do say right there, boom, pump faking. We don't say it as often as y'all may say it, but we do say it, like stop pump faking. You feel me? What else I know? Like, so 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 you can tell them what King Dave mean. King King Dave mean. If you a BD, if you a BD, that's when you say that. So if you ain't a BD, you can't be saying that because that'll get you hurt, right? Yeah 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 yeah. Just saying like King Dave, that's just like you feel me, repping like one of the founders of their organization. Right. You just shout them out. You're not BD. You shouldn't be saying shit like that though. Is it another one that they be putting stuff on too? I can't think. Putting it on Neil. Shit. Putting it on Larry. Uh, anything you just why don't be throwing shit on but niggas the, you all but know. The, but the, I'm, I'm saying sure. I'm, I'm saying the common don't be put, don't what, be put shit what I'm on saying is this know. I'm saying the common people that they always say though they always say King Dave who who else do they say do they say anybody else that that we hear that we shouldn't say that shit like say on Hoover on Larry I'm calling my nigga Perry all right what what else another slang uh, 
On folks. On folks. I say on folks too, right? Folks is like that's more of a GD thing. A GD thing. So that's yeah. another GD thing. A GD thing say folks. Alright, but 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 uh, but uh, but anybody can say it on phone number. Oh, no, that phone was number, yeah. Okay. Phone number is good for anybody. Folks is more, you feel, I say GD nigga say shit like So don't say folks if you not a GD. That's gonna get you hurt again. That's another thing that'll get you hurt. You feel me? Only phone number. You feel me? I'm about to turn the TV down. And then, uh, what else? G Herbo be saying a lot of stuff too. And, uh, with Mr. Do your, Mr. Do your, uh, not Mr. Do your research, but who we <laughs> just talking about with the whoops, hundred dollar whoops and all that, Jay oh, Man. Jay Man, yeah, he be saying stuff too. Man. I swear it might be some more stuff though. What else? Cause I, you and you weren't thinking about that until I brung up third. You would have never brought that up. It yeah, gotta be shit. something else. Yeah, cause it's just shit like I say. I don't know. It's shit that's just all illegal. That's just how we talk type shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. To me, it ain't really no right. No, but you said. The other, when we were talking earlier, it was like, on me. We said that too sometimes, but it seemed like y'all probably said it more like. Yeah, shit, that's cause like I say, like, I'm off be like, on Dave, but on something else. Like, shit, I don't know them niggas. I'm not putting shit on Dave, shit. I'm yeah, putting that shit on me. Putting it on yourself, yeah. Yeah, on me. Because, like, we, in the city, we'd be like, in the city, we'd be like, put that on God. Or put that on your mama. Put that on, put it on, put it on somebody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just saying, like, you know, them niggas don't want to say on baby. On yeah. baby, yo, okay. because I was to put it on baby. I heard okay. that, yeah. I heard that. Okay. What else you got, Jerry? I don't know. So what's the I all right look? I know what a lot of that shit is. <coughs> what's, 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 what's the what's the what's the what's the difference between O block and then sixty four? Nothing. See they all they all hoods for all them shit's the all them shit's the projects and just different niggas on different blocks. Right. Sixty four go through a block. Yeah, 64 go through on block. What about 63rd? Nah, no, that shit. Just at the corner, shit. Technically. All that shit is in the same area, bro. Same 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 area. Area. Like, different like niggas. damn near, like how, how we walk down the block right here. Blocks, that's 63rd, type. So, so, so all them shit's going in numerical order, bro. Like, say 63rd, 64, all them shit's right there. When, it, right. It, when you start hitting different streets that different names, that's when you know you're creating distance between oh, them. But, okay. Them shits is right there. So them the main, them the main, them the pe popular main like, like gangs. No, six, four, sixty four. third is not a gang. Well, that's not a, a gang, block. but like a block that. That's the main one that no, everybody know about. It's the main one because King Von and them is famous. So like, what's a, what's another one? Like the BD is the most famous. Okay. Shit, and they, is, is it, huh? BDs. 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 Oh, BDs. All right. Like keep, 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 Lil Dirt, King right, Von, right, right, all right, them. Right. All them niggas the most famous, so that's what people what know. Black disciples. Black disciples. Black disciples. Black disciples. So. Gangsta disciples. Black so so it's other it's other it's other you feel me uh, hoods around too. Bro, it's numerous. It's numerous. It's it's game you probably never heard of. Y'all probably never heard of a soul. Yeah. Until until they become a rapper, then we hear. Until that then, until then, soul. we probably ain't gonna know. Yeah, I mean, Only you know if you in the, you feel me, and you in it, you in it, cause you in it for real. In Chicago for real, that's what I'm saying, living in Chicago. <laughs> he said, in what? No, that's what I said, you in Chicago for real, I ain't saying anything, I ain't no whatever. <laughs> so you know, the, you, you know your homework, you feel me? Us, we just coming here, we want to know. You feel me? So what you would recommend a person like us coming here that, that, that probably never been here, you feel me? What would you recommend not to do? Don't go where you not from. Shit, that's it. Just don't, don't, don't go nowhere. Start hanging out nowhere that you don't know nobody around there. That's that's probably the biggest thing. Yeah, yeah, true. And and and, and basically saying words that you don't know the meaning to. Yeah, don't be saying shit you don't know. Fact, fact, fact. But you hear somebody else say, don't I mean you can say that shit. You know, you feel me? You not from over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's really the main thing though. Shit, like I say you come to Chicago. You stay downtown, you pretty much good. You going out to eat, you good, shit. Just don't be hanging around blocks. You're not, you not from shit, hanging on people's blocks. Yeah. You will be okay. You will make it. All right. You, you will make it home to your family to kiss your wife goodnight. Yeah. I know I asked you this earlier too, but I'm gonna ask you again since we're recording. What's the best thing that you like about Chicago? Shit. Like I say, man, really, this the city got everything you will want. It got entertainment, it got bad bitches, it got vibes, it got amazing food, 
anything that you can want to do is, is here, somewhere yeah. around here. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's why I, I just want you to shed some light on on your city, you feel me? We, we know about the bad, but you gotta come. the good light, you feel me? <laughs> sure, like, it ain't even that bad. I mean, shit, probably not for me, I guess. You know, it's like a fish out of water type shit. You know, they say when you, a, a fish don't know it's in water until you take it out of water. Facts. You feel me? So, shit, I've been living here my whole life. It is what it is right. in Chicago, but... It's thorough to me, shit. Yeah, it's a, cool it, and, it, and it's about where you, who you surround yourself around, the crowd you surround yourself around. Yeah, shit, that's a big part. You feel me? So you guilty by association. Like your song, say. Yeah, Check his song out. Yeah, man, you guilty. You feel me? Wink, wink. It's gonna drop soon. You feel me? Shout out my nigga J.I. Yeah. You did. Lotto. But, uh, talk, say your name real quick so they can know. Lotto MBK on all platforms, Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music, all that shit. Lotto MBK, one word. Want to follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Facebook, MBK Lotto. All right, what's the what's the craziest thing you've seen happen in Chicago that you probably witnessed or heard, or both? Uh, yeah, shit, uh, it's kind of fed. Like, not, 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 not like, not like, not on no fed shit, but I'm just saying, like, you, know, like I done seen, I done seen a nigga get his his buff snatch on the bus, on the bus, uh, on the bus. Like, when I was seven, like, I'm gonna say ten. I get on the bus. But nigga I'm get on the team the nigga get 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 stomped. Flat Stanley style. I like <laughs> I like five niggas. Talking about like curve stomp curve stomp the nigga Tim no Tim the curve. Type. On me, flat Stanley. <laughs> you <laughs> seen that? Yeah, on eyes, witness this. I'm gonna forget that that stomped out Dang. viciously. By himself, like it was him one dude stomped him out or was No, no, like multiple people stomped him out. Like five, at, at the minimum five. I mean it was Finish. probably more more or less at one point, but at, at no point in time was it less than five people stomping him at one time. Finish. Fight back, bitch. Finish records. That's why you gotta be protected by, by all means. Protect yourself and be protected by all means, you feel me? So I'm sure though. That's my guy Lotto. Give me all a quick little rundown on Chicago. You did. You want to come here, you feel me? You did. And you see my man. Hey, y'all come to the city, man. Come to the city, man. Y'all enjoy y'all stuff, man. Yeah. We got everything you want out here. It's finna get cold out here, though. Bundle up. There's still some shit to do. You still can pop out out here. Motherfuckers still outside. But summertime, Chicago is definitely the place to what, be. What's, what's a good restaurant? <sighs> Depends on what you want. You want a, 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 a juicy, fat burger. Whoa. Juicy fat burger. <laughs> shit, I recommend Portillo. They, they got some good burgers. Shit. Okay, okay. Good ass burger. Oh. Probably go to like Nick's or something. Yeah. All right, all right. Look, though, this probably off a little bit, but if you was the, if you was the, uh, take a girl on a date, where would you take her first? Baby <laughs> Yeah, got him thinking though, like. Woo! <laughs> What you where you where you taking her? You in the shot, you feel me? You feeling good, crispy, crispy cut. Where you taking her? First date. First date. I ain't taking a bitch on the first date. Alright. Alright, you get to know her, you liking her. Woo -woo. Nah, it ain't, you feel me? I'm gonna take her somewhere that's inexpensive because I don't know if I like you yet. Yeah. If we being honest. Right, 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 right. To the museum or something. See oh, where your that, head is. That's see, fire. See if you stupid or not. Fire. That's yeah. That, that's like the, yeah, yeah, the museum, see if you stupid, fast. See where, see where her head at. No cap, no cap. And then the second day, you like her though. You like oh, her this okay. time. now I like her. Now you like her. Now I like her. Hey. Uh, let's see. What we eat, breakfast or we eat dinner? Let's go breakfast first. We going breakfast? Really? I'll probably take her to Wild Berries. Okay. Get her some wild get her some wild, wild berries. Where, where are wild berries at? It's a couple spots, you feel me? It's one downtown on uh what is that? Randolph, I believe. Alright. Randolph and State. Okay, okay. And then now it's dinner time. Dinner time. Dinner time. Shit. Dinner time. Dinner time. It depends. Like if she a real, you feel me, uh classy hoe, you feel me? I want <laughs> she wanna eat. She wants some wine and shit like that, some steak and wine. <laughs> You know, I'll probably take it. You know, just on some little shit. Probably something she never seen before. If she, if she, if she, she broke kitchen and oh, cocktails yeah. or something like that. Okay. You know, kitchen cocktails a decent little herbage spot. She sells soul food and shit like that. Yeah. She from the hood. Yeah. If I could take her around the guys, you feel me? She from the hood. Take her something good. Get her some. Get her some jerk, jerk villas, some jerk taco man or something. Bust her head off. The over. hell is that? I'm talking about bust her head off. You about to, you about to school me real quick. What's that? <laughs> bust your wife. School us. Man, it's just a couple spots out here, man. That jerk is like some Caribbean food, man. You okay. get you some 
like on like on that Drake album, that new Drake album, it was like a little cutscene at the end. Shorty's like, we were eating jerk wings and jerk oxtails all week. Like, what the fuck? What's going on? And she's like, <laughs> jerk this, jerk that. Yeah, some jerk oxtails was hidden though. Do the jerk, I know. Do the <laughs> jerk, I know. Like, <laughs> jerk, 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 jerk. Okay. Get okay. yourself together, man. <laughs> Get you some macaroni, man. Some red beans and rice and shit. Peas and rice. Yeah. They gonna bust your head open. Yeah, straight like that. All right, man. That was a quick little interview, man. From the D to the shot, straight oh, like that with my dog. From the shot to the D, man. Lotto, man. From the shot to the D, man. You feel me? Man, we out here with Brody again, man. With Lotto, he about to. What song you about to shoot, bro? The song called Remains. Remains. What is it about? Shit. Remains. Oh. Just stand, still being here through everything you go through, you feel me? Yeah. As long as you still alive, as long as you still here, yeah. you still able to do something with your life. Okay, okay, okay. I like that, buddy. I like that. I gotta tone in with my dog, man. He be talking some facts. Yeah, MBK shit, man. A lot of yeah. vibes, man. Yeah. That nigga, what you, who you about to kill, gang? You hopped out the whip like you about to just... Murder. Music, man. Killing verses, man. Send me a beat. I'm about to murder yeah. somebody. <laughs> Say less, bro. Yeah. That junk fun, though. I ain't gonna lie. It's a vibe. You got some nice little music. And you chilling. Oh. Dang, gang. I, I, I kind of got that on camera, but... <laughs> 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 nah, shit, like, like, what type of music you make? So, shit, I just make music about my life. You feel me? Like, what I really been through. I mean, got shot up four times. You feel me? Lost my mama. You feel me? Just in the streets being dumb, you know, all that. That's that's really what's in the music, though. So what you working on currently? Currently, right now. Uh, shit, I might, I will. I just bought my first beat, so I'm about to start taking it serious, you feel me? Crazy. And usually I go to YouTube, you know. That's what we usually do. We go click right on YouTube and get a free beat, but that that make you lose money, you feel me? Because mm -hmm. I, I, I got my, on my own uh, uh, distribution and, uh, you get money by using a pay, pay beat that you bought. You use a free beat, you ain't gonna get that much money. So I'm currently working on some on some shit that I just bought a beat on about about my life. You feel me? Okay. Yeah. That's it. If you could have three artists that inspired your current music, like what what three artists like kind of like inspired you to like do to do music? It, it don't have to be like artists that's famous either. Like it can be like your homies, like somebody okay. like anything like that. So yeah, I like that. Shit, I'ma say Nipsey for sure, cause I just like how he talk. He really just talking, you know what I'm so, saying? He ain't even doing too much rapping. I'ma say Nip. I'ma say Babyface Ray. And I'ma have to go with my guy GT. I go with GT. GT different, you hear me? Hell yeah. Yeah, hey, he give you that motivation to get up and go get that bag. And Babyface just put you in that. I'm a, I'm a boss and I need that money. You know what I'm talking about? I feel you. When yeah. people like talk about like Detroit music and shit, like what what you want people to say about like your music and like what like effect like you have on Detroit music? Uh, what I want them to say about my music is like, dang, I could feel and I could tell he really been through it. You feel mm -hmm. me? Been through what he rapping about, and you feel me? He give me that same motivation as any other Detroit artist to, to get up and go get it. You know, can't be lazy. That's the whole thing about it. Can't. Feel you. Feel you. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so how long you been doing it? So how long you been like making music like like seriously like? Yeah, I've been. I had a group called Foreign Game. Our yeah. first video we did was uh, in 2015, and it did a hundred thousand views. You know, that's what so y'all can look that up right now. 34 Foreign Game. Look that up and uh, shit. That, that was the and that that was what. That's like it's 2023. 20, so like what? How many years is that? It's a couple of years. Eight, eight years, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how long I really was doing music before that too, though. Like kid, you know, rapping. Mm -hmm. you feel me? Just put a beat on and be rapping the class. You feel me? Yes, sir. But like, now I'm taking it serious. You feel me? Right, if you could describe yourself in three words as an artist, like people's like looking you up, it's like, man, what's Tavon? Like, what, what's his music or what's his artistry? Like, what three words would you like describe yourself as, like in your artistry? Shit, I say uh, passionate, yes, sir. Uh, Motivational, yes. and then uh, I don't know, just probably like humble too. I feel humble too for sure. So, hey, you gotta be humble, man. 
Yeah, for sure. Definitely got it, bro. I'm, yeah. I'm happy to see like the music that you've been doing. I said moving forward, I want to hear it a lot more. So yeah. definitely make sure y'all tap in with Vaughn, bro. He got he got music, got art, he got everything, man. Tap He's in on. with him, bro. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> Somehow he about to end up all the way over there in the front. Oh my! Uh, twenty five. <laughs> They get scared as hell. This whole boat, boy. I was scared as fuck. Press pause and make sure fears, it, uh, it don't it don't delete because that bitch be messing up. I'm gonna get you over your fears. The first thing we gonna do is. You scared, bro? Man, yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> Here, take the book. Put him, put him inside, like. <laughs> I'm giving him a tutorial. He looks terrified. So that's what we gonna do. Hold on. Hold that down. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh. Okay. So when you upside down. When you come out of the road and you upside down, <laughs> hold that button and you can be upside down, you remain upside down. You ain't going upside down. Get it. down, y'all. Okay. Oh my god. Shit. Oh man. I don't know if I can really do that shit. I'm so damn scared, bro. Oh man. Oh shit. Oh my god. Nah, you sweet. Yeah. Like you can't walk. Okay. Press the red button. Press the green button. Y'all say you gotta hit that green button first. Hit the green button first. Roll. Come up out there. Oh shit! Oh my God! Fuck! I can't even hear what you're saying. I'm good, I'm busy as hell. I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, I appreciate it, bro. That shit, that shit was a time. I had a time. I had a time today. Yeah. Hey. I gotta get up, shit. Nigga, nervous, scared, trembling. Good looking, guy. <laughs> thanks, guys, thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, I got my little footage too. So <laughs> Everybody got on costumes. Last night I got so high. Come on, finish. Almost got hit by toy Yoda. That's not what he said. Come on. Something like that. Jumped out the window. Yeah, I 
up and guards, I'll run him down. He was yapping, speaking on my brother, now he in the ground. I got future money before I ever even did a take. Stand to cut a couple niggas off the track. Still my place. Used to go, bro. He stuck my chip and now I'm nigga straight. It's a day I win and made a dollar before I even ate. Yeah, now I'm all about my money. Used to care about what niggas think. Now I think it's funny. Can I get your hair right? And he got up there. Playing in my face, and nigga, I'ma make you bleed him down the road when she be rocking, nigga, like a Apollo Creed. I used to think about that pussy before I even hit it. Niggas talk about what they gon' do, but bitch, I really did it. Get on your ass, I ain't too Real trains and shit. Bro, up here recording this now. New angle. Like a box of chocolates. Was you out here? Was you out here in two back in 2000, like 15, 16? No, nah, shit. I moved for like three or four years. So probably like 2015 or 2018. I moved to like Indiana. Oh, okay. And then I went to college. Oh, damn. Where, where, you, where you go to college at? Uh, Eastern Illinois. No, I went in. I went in like Southern Illinois. It's called Eastern Illinois University. Okay, okay. They always ask you about where you was from and shit. What is it? Eastern Illinois. I mean Indiana. Oh uh, no, I mean most of the fact, Indiana like forty what forty minutes. Yeah, Indiana minutes? like the, yeah like yeah, yeah. It's not that far. Yeah. yeah, I just remember that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So shit. Okay, you was out there. I'm trying to remember the little errors and shit. Like, you out here when like G Herbo first started started rapping. Like right when I left, it's right when all them niggas started getting popular. Okay. Like, okay. like right when I, like that twenty, like Keith, mm -hmm. Keith and shit was. If you was in the city, like Louis, Keith, all them niggas, they was getting buzzed and was popular throughout the city type shit. You know what I'm saying? All them niggas, SD, all them niggas, like all them little niggas, like Newski, yeah. all them niggas that was with Herb and not Herb, that was with like Dirk and them coming up. All them niggas was getting popular. Then that's when I left. Like that's when when I left is like right when Chief Keith made that remix with uh, Kanye West type shit. Uh -huh. That uh, I don't like remix. Yeah. That's when like, niggas was really starting to get, that's when the city really started busting. Like everybody started getting, you feel me, like publicity and notoriety uh -huh. and shit yeah, like recognition. that. Recognition. How, how you feel when that nigga uh, Chief Keef came, like you feel me? I mean, for that shit was lit, for like, that was like, like how y'all saying, how y'all be like Big Sean, Eminem, them niggas, like they popular and they from Detroit and they mainstream and they got like, like compared to Babyface Ray, Big Sean, it's like more famous, like more mm -hmm. publicly known type shit. But like that nigga, not the voice of the city type shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like Kanye West, that nigga was cold. You feel me? Like that's my favorite artist, like ever type shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But as far as like growing up, that new age, that new wave of like niggas in the city, like Keith, Herb, them niggas, Dirt, all the niggas came in, all that new drill. Like that was the wave of the city, bro. That was the voice of the city. That's what niggas was on. That music was like, like that time was revolutionary. Like I was in and out the city type shit. You feel me? That was the. The time of literally popping out, linking up, or you uh -huh. outside, kickback party, like motherfuckers outside, bro. Like, Keith. Dad out banging everybody, fo. Yeah. Banging motherfuckers, like I say, you probably never even heard of, like niggas who, was, who died before they even got any type of buzz type okay, shit. Like, okay. niggas was hard, it was hella talent out here type shit, you know what I'm saying? But niggas made a name off, off beefing, fo. Mm -hmm. Shit, niggas, hella niggas got their name off, off beefing. Like, it's hella niggas who was raw as hell that didn't make it to see nothing, shit. We got their ass white type shit, you feel me? What's your goal? What's your goal to get out this music stuff? What's your goals in the music? Shit, honestly, man, shit, I don't really care about fame. Yeah. Man, that's that's not my goal. Like, all me me being that nigga, never been in my mindset. Bro, I wanna dance loud as hell, hella train and shit. Oh, yeah. Fuck, they got the real train. Our train sound smooth, like you can't even really hear it. <laughs> Y'all shit is real, like whole uh, deal. Yeah, yeah. Weird. But shit, like. Uh, me get out this music shit, bro. I, I just want to be financially free, bro. Like, yeah. yeah, this, this a passion. This is like what I like doing, making music. That shit fun to me, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, uh, that shit like is a very expensive hobby. If you ain't getting no money off that shit, bro, you just pump the hell of money into that shit. That shit costs money. You feel Thanks. me? Shooting this video, getting y'all out here. You feel me? Like, Do doing you, this shit. Did you sign up to uh? Uh, what's that distribution? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Distro Kid and shit. Distro Kid, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I already got all that shit, distribution. Also, you feel me? Anybody who are artists making music, make sure you get your ass fab. Make sure you get your sound exchange. Make sure you get your, uh, there's one more. I'm, I'm really blanking on the name right now. But them all, 
it's for you to collect money off your song, off your streams and off your shit. Being played internationally, if motherfuckers take your song, put it in a movie, mm -hmm. put it in any kind of thing like that, you getting paid from all avenues of your music so, type shit. So what's me? those names again? It's ASFAB, Sound Exchange. It's, a, it, it, it's one more I literally cannot think of the fucking name of the shit right now. I don't know why I can't think of the so name. So you literally just what, sign up and You then... sign up, put your thing in there. You got to, you make, it's like, not making you a business, but you saying that like, you the artist, this who you are. They gonna give you like an account number ID. Every time you upload a song and shit, you wanna upload your shit. Like when you upload a distro kid, put your shit on them other streaming services as well. So whenever your shit drop and it's time to start collecting money, distro kid only giving you a certain percentage of your money collected like a certain kind of way. You wanna collect all avenues of your money type shit. Like distro kid not collecting your streams for motherfuckers in Nigeria playing your music. So right. as you starting to get more and more out there, you feel me? Especially like you never know when one song gonna bust and where that Fact. bitch gonna bust at. You know what I'm saying? Like you might have a song. And you want all the dough for that? Yeah, you got a song that's three years old that that bust in Australia or some shit like that where you never expected it to bust. You want all your money for that shit. So yeah. just look them shits up. Like uh, I forget. Well, I forget the name of what the shit is called, man. I, I, I feel bad to say or not not being <laughs> not having not having my knowledge yeah, right, right yeah, now, yeah. bro. It's but cool though. It's so just like a royalty collection, like a uh, I, I, I forget the name. I, I'll look something to you. you know. Yeah. But, but, you half of your beat, so you getting them off YouTube right now. Shit, it's it, it's a variation. Like some, it's a couple producers I locked in with, like that Guilty by Association that I did the other day. That's the dude who I knew. Um, he made that GD anthem. His name Matt Vega, cold ass producer. Uh, he doing a lot of house music and shit right now. Y'all should fuck with him, Matt Vega. Uh, but uh, he made that GD anthem for Ruga. I don't know if you ever heard that song. No. You damn it did, bro. That they didn't let the GDs in the door. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't let the GDs in the door. <laughs> He made that. He a cold ass producer though. Shit. He made the other beat. I was locked in for for a while. Another producer. He worked with like Zay Osama, uh, FBG Duck. A lot of them. His name Choo Choo. My nigga Choo Choo. Shout out to Choo Choo. You feel me? Uh, he go crazy. I've been. I was working with him for a long time too. But uh, sometimes I get beats off YouTube. There's just one producer off YouTube I've been trying to really lock in with, but I haven't been able to connect with his ass on social media. His name like Pale Pale 1080. Yeah. But his ass, his ass go crazy. He, he be giving me a lot of my vibes that I've been on now, like a new wave of my music. So. Uh -huh. Yeah, I've been fucking with him, but I always buy his shit too. I at least I lease his shit. Y'all gotta know the, the technical terms, you feel me, between owning that beat outright and leasing that shit. You can yeah. lease that shit. Another nigga take your same beat, make it. But right. shit right now, shit, I'm just making the songs for fun, shit. If I start busting, start getting, you feel me, the publicity and uh motion behind my music, then yeah, you you, you want you wanna battle beats, you wanna uh -huh. have you wanna own, own all all rights of, of your music and all rights of Everything that you produce and your creativity, don't let nobody be able to take your money away from you. See what happened to Juice World? Number one song, best song he made. Motherfucker came, y'all stole my beat. <laughs> stole the whole chorus of my beat, made a song. Sue they ass, took like 80% of his money for that shit. So Damn. just have all your all your shit in order, man. All your paperwork in order. Yeah, that's real true. And Juice World's from Chicago, right? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's from the city, yeah. Yeah, that, how, you, how that made y'all feel? I know that fucked y'all up. The city, that, that messed the city. I mean, up. shit, bro, it's right right now. Ju Juice World took like another way, bro, you feel me? Like, as far as like rappers go, like Herb and Keith and Dirt, you feel me? Like, them niggas, it's like, they, they got a big portion of the city. But like, Juice World is like a global... He, he, yeah, he was. He took the not only not only is he getting all the niggas behind him, but folk getting none like all the white dudes, teenage white dudes, all the white dudes like motherfuckers juice world out. Like he was on that <laughs> wave, but he was cold enough to relate with the niggas, but he was also on that like ex ex, ex tentacion yeah. trippy red. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Kind of vibe. So folk was able to capture a whole big ass crowd of type shit. Like you can go ask it, any. In the city, go through the city right now, ask motherfuckers about Juice World. Niggas gonna be in their feelings about that shit. Like, that man was, he was cold, but shit, he said, legends die young. He said that yeah. shit, you feel me? Like, he's, I don't wanna be a legend. Fine. That's me. why we gotta be careful when we saying our music, too. No, no, for sure. Dead ass, that's yeah, shit. Really shit. See, he said he was a legend, shit. He said, I wanna be a legend. Legends die young, and that shit happened to him, shit. He's on, though. This is my dog again, man. Lotto, man. My nigga Vaughn. Vaughn! <laughs> <laughs> I have somewhere to live because, and like the people in Mexico, all want, I mean, the people in Texas, yeah, the people in Texas don't want them. Nigga gotta make it to Chicago. Them all immigrants, yo. They loading them up on a bus and bringing them up here, bro. Yeah, this oh, is, this damn. One, this wow. one, bro. All immigrants. And you say, what's going on with them again, gang? Shit, they just be loaded. They have to be like, when they, they crossing the border, coming in through the border, they, they put like, they loading them up on a bus because the, the, the state of Texas and shit, like, don't want them there. Mm -hmm. they, they over flooding. Damn. Too many of them, so they load them up on a the bus and bringing them to like 
it's places like it's Illinois, New York, shit like that. These like sanctuary cities, so because we big ass cities, we gonna like we able to house them. So all of them not got them. no green cards type shit. No, nah, they don't got none of that. No, nah. they don't even speak English, folks. So if you you probably you probably didn't realize yesterday, but when we was walking downtown when we went to the car, no, nah, that was dinner before I got with y'all. It was it, they asses on the corner selling chocolate and shit like. Like, like a uh, Girl Scout. I Like, I noticed that. I mean, it's a lot of Mexicans just be here, period, though. Oh, okay. You feel me? Like, it's just Chicago, but they ass is all no, I, they don't know no English at all. Like, straight they, yeah, from they Mexico straight from immigrants. Them, like, they didn't don't even own coach. They don't got no coach. It's gonna be wintertime Damn, type think shit. Think about that shit. To be half your life to be an immigrant trying to get out your country, you 45, 50. Like, nigga, just not getting here. She's crazy. That shit and niggas crazy. starting off with all eyes. Like, they bro, ass yeah. was on the corner, like, chocolate. Damn, they Choco said chocolate latte. <laughs> <laughs> that shit not funny. That shit not funny. <laughs> that shit not funny. Oh, that shit. Right, what you crazy. said? What you trying to tell me, bro? Right, chocolate latte. Yeah, yeah. what? Drink? <laughs> I would have been like latte. What? Uh, hey, uh, oh, know. that's crazy though. There's all a lot of my dog. Y'all, my niggas, so y'all niggas be full when that road. For just yeah. let me know you back to the crib, yeah. man. Chicago, nigga. Appreciate it. It's good to meet you too. Oh yeah, it's love, folks. Tap in with you. A lot of when y'all come here. Well, I'm like, they didn't can't even see me. I'm black as fuck. I can see y'all. Tap in with gang. Have you seen? If me and girlie do pop back down here next month or whatever, you know, I'm already on you. You know. Oh yeah, for just let me know, shit. If you do shit, and we get uh, we get it together. If y'all if y'all come out here, let me know beforehand, info, and I get some shit for us together. Like, so y'all got we got some do. Like, we can then go to the VR place, go play like top golf or some shit like that. You feel me or? I know it's like a couple of decent soul food restaurants, some shit out here. Like we can do so. If she ain't bored, you know y'all actually doing some shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, right, you never bad. said this one thing though. I never heard you say this one on folks in the grave. I ain't never heard you say that one. I mean, you shit. don't say that one. You don't say that one. <laughs> you know what I mean? She, you can say that. Say, but I'm saying I never heard you say it though. Like when shit, you be speaking. Shit, it ain't been in that. I ain't never been in no situation. I had to put on nobody's grave. You okay, feel okay, You know okay. what I'm okay. saying? <laughs> oh yeah, I had to burst it on the dead homie. <laughs> yeah, all right. It's up, my, it's up, my dog. I mean, my love, my boy. Be smooth. Love, my dog. I got this bitch on child off. Yeah, he won't let niggas out. Shit. You yeah. said I didn't bought a new house up in the D, huh? I'm, I'm coming with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, bro, y'all didn't be smoke. It's all right. We'll see you. I thought. Yeah. So y'all got some weed? No. Uh, I'm gonna get some weed. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, he a real, yeah. he a real. Man. I ain't even gonna lie. I gotta shake that again. <laughs> Cause I thought oh, I was about to ride oh, back. Oh. I said, what you doing, baby? Daddy miss you. What you doing, baby? Daddy miss you. You can't be saying that like that, bro. I'm talking about my fucking self. I know, but it sounds like. <laughs> what you doing, baby? Daddy miss you. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. This nigga overdoing it, dog. <laughs> Fuck out of here. I was chilling in the car. I was waiting on. Little bit of stars, little paint This shit look low key hard. I ain't gonna lie. They doing the transaction. We gotta send that to shine. So. Well, up. My performance. Oh. Hey, look though, y'all. I was waiting on that nigga to be like, yeah, you know, it's some Jeep Turkey, whatever he keeps saying. Oh, what Jeep Turkey? Jeep Turkey? Jeep Turkey? That nigga said Jeep Turkey. Look, I was waiting on that nigga to say that shit though. I'm like, I'm about to laugh. I ain't gonna lie. We really need to go get some good food before we leave this bitch, bro. We about to go ride a fast. I don't even wanna ask, bro. We about to find something ourselves. You still wanna ride fast, bro? Hell yeah, hell yeah. I'm glad you said that shit. I'm glad you said that. That's the end of my scene right there, too.